morning. It is 1.30 and I am just getting out of the house. Note to self, don't take melatonin at 3 a.m. when you can't sleep. <laughs> So apparently, this evening the stars have aligned, and we get to go see Neil deGrasse Tyson. So how cool is that? I'm actually on my way to go pick up some tickets from a friend here, and we'll be go seeing it this evening. So I'm kind of excited about that. That's really cool. So somehow I have to figure my way out to the sixth floor reception, but uh, I'm sure we can finagle that, right? This is a bit less of a security checkpoint than I thought it would be. Just sign at the X. Oh, no problem. Here's a band. Oh, that works. Mm -hmm. That's all we'll need from you. All right, thank you so I'm much. I'm glad you came up. <laughs> thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Well, that was easy. Check it out. My name and everything, how cool. I know you're probably exhausted, but thank you, Barbara. We're very excited. I need food, hungry. Burger King, because I want to feel fat today. <laughs> Well, I've got some time to kill before we go out this evening, so... Time must creep while you and me repeat This bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire Suffocating, I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire.
fun. But now we gotta go see Neil deGrasse Tyson. microphone but we made it now we just got to go get in line to get in all right um, in science we don't prove things it's not what we do I tell you something you don't tell me prove it no that's not how we, there's not that's not what we do we provide evidence in support of an idea and when you have enough evidence gathered there will always be some outliers that's the nature of experimental um, that's the nature of variations in experimental uncertainties. You always have outliers. Ooh, exoplanet. Nobody doesn't love exoplanet. Here's the closest exoplanet to us. It's not a photo, it's an artist's rendering. But this is a planet <laughs> orbiting the star Proxima Centauri. There's a star system closest to the sun called Alpha Centauri. It's not a single star, it's multiple stars in mutual gravitational orbit. And uh, that planet is orbiting the Goldilocks zone of the host star. Not too close, liquid water would evaporate. Not too far, it would freeze. Life, as we know it, thrives in liquid water. So we want to know, is the planet right for having life? Another system, <laughs> 10 times farther away, you, you would have read about this in the last few months, a seven-planet system was discovered. Trappist system. Three, these are seven Earth like planets, three of which are in the Goldilocks zone. Now, I have a particular history with exoplanets because, uh, what, is anyone here uh, born from it, since 1995 and onward? So, 22 years old and younger. Just make some noise if that's. Right. <laughs> so, 1995 was the first year that an exoplanet was discovered. And with banner headlines, the first planet orbiting another star. And so I want to designate your entire generation, Generation X, so planets. <laughs> I will forever now call you. Because you only know life with catalogs that contain known planets orbiting stars other than the sun. So now, 1995, the first one was discovered. Towards you. Don't reach out and grab whatever appendage is sticking out and shake it. <laughs> That's a human custom. You do not know what part of their anatomy is sticking out towards you or whether you should be grabbing it, okay? <laughs> Next time you're abducted, just keep that in mind. <laughs> you don't need cosmic perspective from the universe. You can get it from, from biology. Hmm. So that was really good. Was it worth it, honey? Okay. She thinks it was worth it, so we're good. Mm. All right, so we're back home now, and I'm about to go inside and change into comfy pants because it is about my bedtime. But if you ever get the chance, I highly recommend going to see Neil deGrasse Tyson in person. It was a great 
uh, speech, I guess it would be. No, it, it's a, it's a, it, it was awesome to see him on stage and hear his talk. There we go. It was a great talk. But that's pretty much it for today. So if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and leave me a like down below. Uh, feel free to leave any comments or anything. You know, I'm happy to chat with you guys. And if you want to see my videos as they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It'll really help me out as well. But that's pretty much it. So I'll see all you guys and gals on the flip side.